your random number between one and eight is five. Number Ooh, five. five. One, Which two, one is three, that? four. Flowers, crystals, and lost memories. Creator you chose not to colored. archive, not to use archive warnings. What does that mean? <laughs> you don't need to know. Did fuck up. <laughs> well, no. They chose not to use them because not apply, I guess. Okay, we should just read. That's right after it. We so should just read. Not... We should just read a few paragraphs. Mm-hmm. I have. Yeah. I have it open. Yeah, I'm at chapter one, the beginning. I cannot. I cannot open it. I have to log in. Hang on. Can I be the narrator? There we go. Oh wait, should want. we just do, do like whatever you want? Me. We should just read like different paragraphs, right? That no, don't do that. Yeah? This okay. shit's it's not nope. that long. Okay, nope, when should no I start? Reading. The when first chapter's not too hella long, and there's there's only four of us reading, right? Dre, are you um, reading? Dre, are you reading? Are you reading the fanfic? Okay, that's a no. That's a no then. Notes. Lamau, not my first story flopping. I don't know if I'll continue to, it, to be honest. It didn't go anywhere. But I wanted to make a fic about my ghost Wait, character, what the fuck Nessie. Are you reading? I'm reading oh, the notes. God. Brianna Jones no. is not my character. My friend on Discord gave me permission to use her for the story. Anyways, CW for this chapter. Screaming, crying, burn skinned, and warped sounds. I hope you all have a nice day. Hydrate and eat. You ready, nerds? Sore roses. Oh god. Maybe, I'll I don't know. Be ready, but just go for it. <laughs> Being honest, Jones wasn't scared. Suspicious? Yes. Scared? What kind of wimp do you take her for? Of course, dealing with something... Whoa. Dealing with something with an emotion so powerful its distress and pain could breach the barrier of the, the house makes... The... Wait. <laughs> could Wait. breach the barrier <laughs> the house makes. Oh, of course, dealing with something... With an emotion so powerful its distress and pain could breach the barrier the house makes is always a little off-putting. But it makes- it, it only- I can't- <laughs> But it only made her want to discover what was wrong with the ghost that, ev- that had everybody so shaken up even more. And now, Brianna stands at the house door, looking up at the looming building. Her van stood proud a little ways down the road. Just far enough so that it wouldn't take her too long to do the trips of things she needed. She, her, <laughs> the house was painted. <laughs> shut up. The Wait, house was are, painted are we a, allowed to shit on these characters at all? Or? Do yeah. it. Yeah. Can, can we, we like be a peanut no mercy. gallery? Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. We can tear apart these characters. Okay. It's just like watching anime with my sister. All right. <laughs> The house was painted a sad gray, the people who did its job feeling it suited the vibe everybody got when just standing too close or looking too long. She can hear it, albeit faint, the broken screams mixed with anguished walls muffled by the strong forest trying to keep it hidden. Can you can you hmm? read that again, please? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I, you broke up there, I don't know what's happening. The broken anyway. screams mixed with the anguished quiet. walls... Muffled by a strong force trying to keep it It looks like L in my browser. She can hear it, albeit faint. The broken screams mixed with the anguished wails muffled by the strong force trying to keep it hidden. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Even this quiet, you could hear the raw emotion and anger laced into each and every belted out shriek that ripped its way from the old building. People say it's the audience. Sure, (laughs) ma'am. People say it's been going on for years, these sounds. They've been trying to get rid of the supernatural being for 19 years, and each and every time they failed. For 19 years. It surprised I her. Think, Your emphasis is I think, the, pro- I think the, pro- the problem is they don't turn on the lights and bully, bully the shit out of the ghost. Yeah. Also, did you know you're reading it wrong? Hmm? Italis- italization means emphasis. For nineteen Four. years, there you it go. surprised her. Um, and now they're desperate enough. If it's an entire to... sentence, shut up. If it's an entire sentence, it's thoughts, though. <laughs> so you'll need to read ahead just a touch. Okay. God, fan fiction. This is how our has the weird. Can you let me read, please? <laughs> no. We got to shit a... on the characters too. Just remember, shit on everything. It surprised on her, and now they're desperate enough to get rid of this guy. Aneasy was its name, 
that 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 they let a minor girl figure. Let me read that again. <laughs> and now, and now they're desperate enough to get rid of this guy. Amnesia was his name. That they'd let a minor girl figure it out. Sighing to herself, she placed a gloved hand on the doorknob. It was night. The moon shining down on the world, which made it e which made it all the more eerie. Jones could feel the curious eye of civilians from their windows, nervous to see what would happen. She stood Singular? there for a moment. Shut up. <laughs> Wait, hold hold up. So civilians sign, from their windows. They're sending a minor into this. Yeah, they're sending like a four year old into this haunted mansion. They're so fucking desperate. They'd send the four. Pedro, Pedro, the call the police. <laughs> She stood there for a moment, <laughs> shivering a little as the chill as the chill the ghost created seeped into her glove. It hardly. What? Okay. The I'm, I'm reading it again because yeah. I suck at reading. Yeah, def definitely. <laughs> Read that one again. <laughs> she stood there for a moment, shivering a little as the ch as the chill the chill. You want to try that again? <laughs> Do it slowly. Do it slowly. You're learning how to read again. What are you guys fucking calling me? I'm not calling uh, you anything. Not you. We're, we're reading not fan you. fiction. No, we're, we're reading this fucking it. piece of shit story yeah. about a pedophile ghost. And a she, minor. she stood there for a moment, shivering a little as the chill the ghost created seeped into her glove, if hardly there. He okay. did it. Oh my god. Can we get a round of applause for Kiyoshi? Yeah. <laughs> Good for me, everyone. He actually finished the sentence without stumbling. This is Up the far stairs, down the hall, take a turn door to the right. Take a turn door to the right. Take a turn door to the right. Wait, do they mean... How the yeah, turn. I was about to say, did they mean take a turn, comma, door to the right? Okay, oh, wait, anyway. I think it's up the stairs, comma, down the hall, comma, take a turn, comma, door to the right. Okay. Period. How the table turns, turn how the tables. Turn, how the turn door right <laughs> turn table hall turn tables. <laughs> <laughs> Zion, can you animate this whole episode? I don't think I have enough strength in myself, but I'll certainly try. Okay. It's all of us sitting around a table. Reading a piece of shit <laughs> book that we find in a haunted house. It's like an ASMR mic in front of me. <laughs> this is this is inside one of the uh, fucking Phasmo houses, and we find this under the ghost's bed. <laughs> We're just sitting under the bed reading this. Yeah. Yes. She told this herself is before. This is during a hunt or some shit. Yeah, they're just they're just reading a whole book. Well, they're just it's okay. Well, it's so boring. Well, like, you might as well read a book while it's trying to kill us, and then I die. Don't she worry, told it's herself. Shade. She <laughs> she told herself before opening the door and stepping in. As soon as it closed, she could feel the force the ghost used in order right. to let out these shrill sounds. It made her ears ring and her eyes water as she stumbled, hands clamped over her ears in a futile attempt at shutting out the screams it let out. That was a long sentence. That was too many words. It let out yeah. shouldn't even be in that sentence. Oh, <laughs> crap. These people need to learn how to write. Well, it's actually really good. Absolutely. The writing is it's actually good? really good. It's just the punctuation is not. Yeah, grammar. Everything grammar is garbage. No, the grammar is good. need to be grammar Nazis. The italicization is good. Yeah. Also, I don't think I'm saying. I wasn't paying point. attention to that. I think you I think you're right. It yeah. was as if somebody was getting. Story better. Can I read the freaking? You cannot. No. It was as if. Okay. 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 Here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Since you won't no, let no, me no, read. No! 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 Do it! No! 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 I promise I'll oh, be good. Keep okay. 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 We'll, we'll, okay. We'll shut up. Okay. 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 Just might throw a remark in here and there. It was as if somebody was getting brutally stabbed over and over, but never dying, stuck with eternal pain. And hell, maybe that's what hap ha ha <laughs> I can't freaking... And hell, maybe that's what had happened. That's what had hap- that's what had- I'm just gonna roll with it. And she'd believed it if she hadn't already found out she he was burned alive. Maybe that's why the screaming was so guttural. With shaking hands, she slowly pushed herself away from the wall she leaned on, wincing harshly at the sudden piercing. Shut the. It wasn't me this time. <laughs> wincing harshly at the sudden piercing of sound in her eardrums when they were no longer haphazardly protected, it hurt so so bad. 
The screaming was so loud and it never stopped, despite the audible scratchiness of the ghost's voice. But she couldn't stop, not now. So she plowed on, hands balled into tight fists, shaking the need to tur shaking with the need to turn and run out of the house where she couldn't hear these heart wrenching sobs and shrieks anymore. <sighs> but she didn't. She trudged yeah. up the creaking stairs down the hall, no matter <laughs> what like, crazy. And then it oh stopped. Brianna could almost cry and with relief and pain. Her ears were ringing to the point if she slapped the wall, she wouldn't be able to hear it. So staggering towards with bated breath, she almost missed the hoarse sounds of someone trying to scream. But with the... Uh... <laughs> Try that again. Man, I, I yeah. wish this was on like a Friday or something, then I could drink. Yeah, and then I would not have to stop. But being unable to had it not been in the room 20 or so steps says dead. She remembered the neighbor next door told her this. Sometimes it stops, and it's like he can't scream anymore, like his voice died out. After, the, after days of nothing but screaming, he always does it again, always screams. It said sadly, I wish he'd died a better death. He didn't deserve to be burned alive. No, Shuddering he, at the- He deserved worse. He deserved bleach in the eyes. Probably, yeah. A fucking yeah. knife, a thousand degrees up the ass. Oh, it's, it's those sound, those thousand degree knife videos from 2014 coming back to haunt this guy. Yep, he he's the one that made him. <laughs> this is where he went. Hell. Shuddering at the last bit of her memory, she looked at the door she was supposed to open. It was still run down, hardly on the hinges, because nobody could touch it. They said, they said it. That. They said it had been so cold it felt like frostbite itself. There we go. With newfound strength, she jogged forward, panting in front of the door. Already, Jones could feel the cold wafting from the from both the wooden slab and the room itself. Her ears straining to catch raspy wa raspy wisps Whoa. of a voice raspy trying to speak wisps. again. <laughs> it's, this is Wasp a tongue twister, man. This those wascals. Those wascals <laughs> trying to take my wasky wisps. <laughs> Sounds like a cereal. Take my whiskey. Like, like a ghost wow, cereal. Whiskey. Her ears straining to catch raspy wisps of a voice trying to shriek again. Then it started up again. With her being so close to the source, she almost screamed with the ghost because it was just what? So goddamn loud. <laughs> but no. Instead, she grabbed the rusted knob and flung the door open, the screams cutting off abruptly as it happened. Brianna wanted to shiver, to leave. It was so cold in that room, and in front of her stood a tall man with dirty brown hair. <laughs> and in front of her stood a tall man with dirty brown hair and brown eyes that twisted into a blue at the bottom of the iris. From what she could see, she had a simple hoodie and jeans. It means she, they're they're mostly brown, but it has some blue. She had a simple hoodie and jeans? She had oh. a simple hoodie? No, From I'm what sorry. she could see, he had a simple hoodie that. and jeans. My All voice right. is so deep, it's I'm shaking, sure. my, it's it's vibrating my chair. But, but I'm talking about, like, the eye thing. The, yeah, the it's, it's, it's like brown eyes. It's eyes. I don't know, people who are dumb. heterochromia. Split heterochromia. I guess so. It's the eye thing. Yeah, I know. Hmm. See, Brianna Jones had a little knack for seeing things other couldn't. With her pale blue eyes looking almost blind, she could, well, see the paranormal. It got annoying because dead people were everywhere, but eventually she started using it to get rid of hauntings after studying ghosts, demons, poltergeist, and many other supernatural beings. I'm going to turn Singular. my light on. Singular I mean, poltergeist. I mean, if you're good at something, yeah. get paid for it. Singular poltergeist. I, I actually, Ghosts? I could, I could be getting paid for this. That's actually my dream to get paid for this. Okay, I'm gonna turn my light on. Fan fiction. So it's <laughs> ghosts, demons, poltergeist, and other supernatural beings. All right, all right. From this story, what can we tell about this ghost? What kind of ghost is it, or are they just bullshitting us? One of them that likes to fucking scream. Holy well, it shit. has legs, freezing so temps. it's not a wraith. It's got freezing temps. It does. It does. It does. It does. But freezing temps. Did they say anything about orbs? Oh, he does oh, have heterochromia. Has... In this, you in the next listening? paragraph, I'm going to leave. 
I wasn't there. Kinda. And this one, well, she couldn't tell what he was. His body was like somebody took a picture, put him in Photoshop, and blurred everything except his heterochromic eyes and his heterochromic cratic. Heterochromatic. Put him in Photoshop and blurred everything except his heterochromatic eyes. Heterochromatic. Shut up. Let me keep going. Eyes and his grayed out hands, his fingers ending in an ombre of black. An ombre? Ombre. Amber. His fingers ending in an amber of black. So this is who's been keeping people awake. I didn't realize that was the girl Bastard. before I started reading it. <clears throat> this All is who's been, been keeping people awake. Feet to keep Why the awake in the house. Somebody summoned the goddamn demon in my room. Uh, Zion, can you read the the italics at, at this at the end of this uh, paragraph? Do you want to play so this character? This so I'm not reading. Keeping every she was snapped out of her thoughts when she started crying I'm not done. again. Okay, well, I'm she's sorry. She's beeping in the room. <laughs> getting spooked. It's so fine. This is who's been keeping people awake. She was snapped out of her thoughts when he started crying again, pacing the room and repeating something along the lines of, You have you to, to leave. Leave. Wait, you wait, wait. You can't be here. Get out. This isn't your home. Wait, I want Xander to read this because this is the Xander, guy. Read it. Xander, this Xander, is the Xander, guy. Xander, Xander. Where, where, where is it? I'm highlighting it. I will do this. Oh, all right. Okay, I'm looking way further down on the screen. No, you shut have... up. All right. You have to leave. You can't be here. Don't! This isn't your home. And many other frightened things that she could probably worry about. She should probably worry about. Hey. She said, keeping her tone soft, smiling when he froze and looked at her. It's okay. I'm here to make it all better so you can go to heaven. Brianna emphasized her point by raising her hands, palms facing the ceiling. You know heaven, right? That's where you go when you die. That's where I'm going to help you go. Instead of comforting the ghost like she'd intended to do, his face suddenly wasn't blurred anymore. Instead crystal clear as his teeth seemed thicker and much sharper than before as something akin to a glitched snarl tore itself from his throat. But as soon as it happened, it was gone. And he was but a cold blur in the air again. This is Xander. You can't. Nothing will ever help. You can't be here! Get out! He started wailing again, weaved into sharp screams. He was now looking at her with wide eyes, his pupils morphed into vertical lines, and his teeth pointed again. Turning towards her, he continued shrieking. Get out! Get out! Get out! Brianna Jones, the bravest ghost hunter out there, had never fled a house so quickly before. Notes. Jnadnidsnvaft. Wow, this was a lot longer than I than I thought it would be. My last story only had half of this, so that's good. A few of the paragraphs are longer than I expected, but I don't think I'll go and edit them right now. Anywho, I hope you all take care of yourselves and have the nice rest of your life day night. Day night, just day what? night. <laughs> have a nice Heart rest of your life. Night. I hope you die. I mean... Uh, <laughs> I'm moving on. Get on my level, I'm moving on. Your random number between one and eight is four. <laughs> oh, there's four. Logan, Logan, Roman, Paton, and Virgil. Okay, are in I'll a friendly play... competition. I'll be Patton. Okay, I'll play uh, Virgil and Logan, I guess. I guess I'm Roman. Alright, cool. It's me, Passion Pat, and back at it again with another pet, pet, pet. I, I, I wrote it. I wrote <laughs> down the rules in, in case it matters. Okay, I wrote in case down. Anyone forgets? I wrote down my rules as well. Okay, I wrote down different ones. Okay, we ready? Who's narrating this? The competition this? is friendly, but the stakes are high. Loser has to buy everyone ice cream. Oh, okay. It's the summary. Oh, it's the end of the summary anyway. Oh, God. Okay. You want to do it? You uh, narrator as well. That's Roman. Are you narrator? Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you all for gathering here tonight. I know it took a lot of courage to come. Let's get right down to business. Roman bowed dramatically, to and Logan snice stifled the with a snort. Shut up. <laughs> a cool wind from the east started up as Roman began pulling various pieces of equipment out the back of the car, causing Logan to lean his sh lean his shoulder into Virgil's for some warmth. That's kind of gay. That's yeah. Virgil. No, wait. Who the fuck's a little bit of the sausage fest. Yeah. I'm playing I think Logan, it's Logan and Virgil. And then Virgil. And then Logan. Okay. 
How do we get the wait? How do we let them talk us into this again? How do we let them talk us into this again? He he muttered out of the side of his mouth. Virgil shrugged. Patton's got those puppy dog eyes. I don't know. You know I can't refuse him. You know there are only two letters in the word no. Wait. Okay, that is Virgil. You again. I dare you to look Patton in the eye when he's got that expression and tell him no. Virgil crossed his arms. Besides, I'm not. I'm. I didn't see you turning Roman in down when he asked you to come. Besides, I didn't see you turning down Roman when I he went down when he ran when. <laughs> tables turn <laughs> tables. Well, I didn't when let him go in alone. Logan slide. I can't read. Slide. Logan sighed and crossed his arms. Even you want me to narrate. Even if this is quite ridiculous. Yeah, sure. Um. Okay, this is Roman, oh, is so this now? is you. Yeah, is that's you. Me? That's you. It is me. It's me anyway. Ha ha. Both teams will have until the morning to get decisive evidence of ghosts. Roman noticed, noticing their conversation. Who? Roman, noticing their conversation, increased his volume. Thomas. Who the. F ha. Is that John or Joan? Joan. 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 Thomas, Joan, and Talon have thankfully agreed to help judge the evidence. Remember, we can't leave the building until sunrise, which is four ish hours. So we've got plenty of time to get some quality recordings. I want Virgil on my team. Patton slid off his perch on the hood of the car with a bright smile. Virgil can fight on scary ghosts. I like the voice. Roman sputtered, affronted. I can protect you! Nah, Virgil is mine. You can protect Logan for me. Patton grinned cheerily. Logan. Ooh, Roman glanced at Logan. Okay, this Ugh. is you. Is that me? Yeah, it's you. Ugh, fine. I'll protect the Microsoft nerd. What a wonderful, what a wonderful boyfriend you are, my hero. Logan. M my Ooh, Logan. hero. Logan Ooh. said dryly. Roman didn't even seem to process the sarcasm of the remark, beaming grandly and said, So we shall proceed into the lair of the beast? I think we shall. After all, we have the whole... To Patton scooped up his equipment and set off with Virgil <laughs> towards the west wing of the abandoned hospital that Roman had picked out. Roman watched them go for a moment, then turned back to the table and set to work. Uh, is that me? Yes. Yep. So I was thinking you could hold the camera and I'll hold the EMF meter and the thermometer? Roman handed the camcorder to Logan without pausing. Logan just rolled his eyes and took it, letting Roman organize as he wanted. You know, there's no hard scientific evidence to suggest the existence of the paranormal, correct? Logan asked, flipping the side viewer open and checking the camera's battery and memory. It seemed satisfactory. The best evidence in court is circumstantial. Roman sighed deeply at him and started walking towards the east wing. Don't be such a doubter, pocket protector. We're gonna win this. They're all... Patton twirled the camera in his hand. Hey, where are you chat? Virgil glanced at the EMF reader, still dark and motionless. What exactly? Ooh, wait, I forgot my voice for him. What exactly are we doing here? That's not the voice, but what are we I'm looking go with for it. here, you fool? What exactly are we looking for here? That's more like it. There you go. Patton spun to face him, walking backwards down the hallway. Now he shrugged. I just want to get to someone to say hello. To me at this point. <laughs> Supposedly, well, the East Wing green. was children's and maternal world. <laughs> so maybe. Ma maternity? Some cute little kid ghosts. Or dead moms. Aren't ghosts supposedly made from, like, violent deaths? That doesn't seem like something we'd want to run into. Just because they die badly doesn't mean they're bad people. Patton glanced over Virgil's shoulder and flown, fr flown. He flowned. Frowned. Virgil rest resisted the urge to look behind him. I don't think badly is a word. It is, actually. Um, Virgil's kind of dumb. I, think, I, I like to think that Patton's a little retarded. Yeah, I think I, think, I like retarded. to think this as well. Okay, this is you again, Xander. It can be a word. He can. If he wants to be a word, too. 
hat and nodded absently and kept walking, his eyes still flicking over Virgil's shoulder every so often. Gritting his teeth, Virgil tightened his grip on the torch, then spun around abruptly, pointing the beam into the dark hallway behind him. He heard Patton suck in a breath at his sudden movement, but the hallway was empty. Or rather, almost empty. A single rubber ball rested against the door about thirty paces away, completely still. It looked like it had been red once, but age had blackened it. Virgil couldn't remember if it had been there before or not. The door next to it was opened, just slightly. Actually, all the doors on both sides of the hallway were cracked open a little. Virgil spun around. So were all the ones ahead of him. Had they always been like that? Someone touched his arm and the torch wavered. Then Patton pulled Virgil back to face him. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. There's nothing there. It was, it was just looking at a string on the hoodie. It kind of sounds like drum, drunk Kermit. Yeah. <laughs> it's drunk Kermit. It's, it's not Patton, it's for. drunk Kermit. <laughs> drunk Kermit said soothingly, gently guiding white girl around to face the direction they had been going. <laughs> no, Logan first goes to break, right? No, I'm not done yet. Shut up. Oh. We haven't gotten that far. <laughs> Virgil knew he was lying. There were no loose strings on his hoodie. He was meticulous about, meticulous about clipping threads. Virgil let Patton slip an arm around his waist and started walking forward again. What? <laughs> what? Oh. So, Logan says ghosts are fake, right? Patton started, trying to get Virgil to calm down. Yeah. Virgil shrugged. There's no conclusive scientific evidence to support their existence. What do you believe? Patton was looking through the viewfinder down the hallway. Well, like I said, there's no conclu- Virgil started, only to be interrupted again by his boyfriend. That's not what I asked, I what is you, what are you saying now what Logan's eyes? Patton's thumb started rubbing small circles on Virgil's hip bone, <laughs> probably an attempt to distract him from the fact they had slowed their walking speed so Patton could peer into a few of the rooms. I'm not sure. Virgil shrugged and gave Patton a small smile. I guess it depends on how good the evidence we'll collect is. I'll keep it open in mind. I'll keep... I'll keep That's and true. open. I'll keep and open mind. Oh man! I'll oh, keep an know. open mind. Yep, everybody here is retarded. <laughs> <laughs> joke. It's Patton. it's joke. Shut up. We're getting there. Yeah, I know. Patton beamed at him. That's the spirit. Virgil rolled his eyes. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Patton. Hey. Patton. Yeah. Go. Are you doing your mind? Is we tag a pig in our one of these rooms? Patton asked, scanning Virgil's face carefully. There was something jittery in Virgil's chest, but he didn't want to let Patton down. Nah, let's take a look. Which one did you want to check out? Patton Is slowed, tech? looking around. Shut up. Pattern slowed, <laughs> looking around. <laughs> <laughs> Virgin shown his torch around the hallway. <laughs> Just a different P and V word for every single name. <laughs> Following Patton's gaze. After a few turns, Patton suddenly stopped dead and looked at Yeah, looked at one door, just ahead of them to the left. Patton's hand gripped Virgil's wrist tightly, stopping him from moving the torch to directly shine on the door. Slowly, Patton brought the camera up to point at it, and Virgil held his breath. Very, very faintly, he heard it. The rhythmic groaning of springs, rusty sounding. Squeak, Ew, somebody's squeak, fucking. Squeak, 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 squeak. Silence. I think Carefully, we should they approached the door. Shut up. <laughs> Carefully, they approached the door. Virgil's boots seemed too loud in the hallway. The corner of the EMF meter dug into Virgil's hand. That's you. Hello, Zaman in there. I you wanna talk and I'm sad. Let's fucking just, just, just do what you're doing. Patton asked cautiously. Silence. The EMF meter spiked. Patton shuddered. I'm not going to hurt you. 
I might join you. You don't need to, need to be afraid of me. Patton glanced back at Virgil. My boyfriend is here with me. You all hurt you. Either he might just fuck you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but keep going, because it's funny. Anyway. The door creeped open very, very slightly. Patton's finger fumbled blindly across Virgil's wrist for a moment before gently prying the torch from his hands. Patton turned the beam inside the room and they stepped inside. The room was dirty. A short window near the ceiling smashed in, leaving glass. I'm skipping ahead. Leaving... <laughs> Littering leaves and broken glass and moonlight across the floor. Behind the door, a small rocking horse sat, still. The paint on the face was worn and faded. The walls were covered in cracked blue paint, swirls of gray and clouds. A small bed sat askew in the corner, the mattress shredded by rodents. The EMF meter twitched. My name is Patton. I'm a little retarded. This is Virgil. He is also retarded. Do you but want to tell us well, what degree. your name and if you are retarded? Patton asked carefully. And open to butt sex? <laughs> <laughs> a breeze shifted the leaves on the windowsill, and Virgil thought he heard a child's laughter. Like what I just fucking heard in the recording! Nice. <laughs> Patton. Last chance, if you would like to say hi or fuck my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was looking at the wrong one. Yes, you were. If you want to communicate, please give us a sign of some sort. <laughs> Patton shone the torch by the ceiling, then back around to check each corner of the room. Nothing happened. With his heart still thudding in his ears, Virgil couldn't deny that he was the tiniest bit relieved when Patton motioned for them to leave the room. He carefully picked his way back out into the hallway, automatically scanning for the dark for any sign of movement. Patton seemed disappointed. He turned back to look at the rocking horse still waiting in the room. This is your last chance if you would like to say anything to us or maybe ride me. He said in a near whisper, hopeful. <laughs> Leaves rustled, slowly. Horrifyingly, the rocking horse began to bob. Patton stepped forward, back into the room with a thrilled look on his face. The EMF meter suddenly buzzed in Virgil's hand, intense, and something cold gripped his chest. Virgil's hand shot out and he grabbed Patton's arm, yanking him back just as the door slammed shut with slam shut, slam shut, slam shut, <laughs> slam shut, shut, with the noise like a gunshot, turning slowly. Virgil realized every door in the hallway had shut. Flame shut, like a noise, like a gunshot. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, anyway. Boom, boom, boom. Without stopping to think, Virgil swept Patton's knees out from under him, pulling him into his arms and started running like all of hell was after them. Okay, should we reach? Should we read another one? This one seems quite this short. This one's actually not... Hang on, How what's the word count for this? Um, I don't know. Oh, that's not actually too long. Um, we can finish this, it's not too long. Uh, yeah. can we just read the next bit? Just the next part until the, is it the stopper? The stoppy boy? Yeah. We can, we can. I won't finish this, but we can. Alright. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, oh, it's me! It is you. The east wing was where they had all the emergency rooms and the regular checkout room. So normal patients were in this wing, but also probably a lot of violent deaths from the emergency rooms. Roman turned around to grin at Logan, or more accurately, the camera. Right, and any and okay. Right, and anything who dies violently becomes a ghost. Logan snarked. Roman, right. refrain from swatting that mosquito, please. It could be a ghost mosquito. Maybe it was killed violently by a nurse. We need to film it. Roman rolled his eyes. I'll make a believer out of you yet. The hallways were dark and quiet. Random me who. <sighs> Random who ma'am who ma. Who ma ha hua hua. Random. Medical. Paphernalia. Lying around from the time when it had actually been an operational hospital. The walls drip with plaint. With plaint. So I'm <laughs> Go on. I can, I can read, I promise. I can read. You're the narrator of this one. Of course you can. <laughs> 
black fuzzy lettering over the peeling blue wallpaper. There were some darker patches on the walls, spots that Roman made out to be blood with his enthusiastic narration. Realistically, Logan thought it was more likely that they were patches of mold. With a U. Mold. Yeah, it's British. <laughs> That's a British spelling. Moldy, the moldy, ceiling moldy. was cracked in places, he noted, especially around the air vents. There were places where the roof sagged and looked yellowed. Water damage. There was probably a healthy mosquito population in the building during the summer. <clears throat> Up ahead, there was a crash and a muffled... Muffled. It's muffled now. And a muffled curse as Roman tripped over what happened... What appeared. <laughs> to be an old IV rig. Loven... Loven. Loven stifled a chuckle as he jogged to catch up with his partner. Lowering the camera for a second to offer a hand to Roman. Predictably, Roman didn't take it, and sprung up on his own instead, dusting off his pants as though, as though nothing had happened. I am fine, despite the spirit's attempts to attack me, Roman said. I am fine, despite the spirit's attempt to you attack shut me. shut up. You fucking shut up. Okay, keep going. Ro Roman said, his character voice slipping out as he pulled on a mask of feigned bravado. Thank you for your uh, assistance, good sir, but I can take them on my own. Logan rolled his eyes so hard he gave himself a bit of a headache. Apologies for the my mistake, then. I assure you it will not happen again. Wink, wink, Apologies nudge, accepted! Nudge. Apologies accepted, Roman smiled and winked at Logan in that infuriating way that made him want to wipe the expression off Roman's face with either his fist or his mouth. Um, mm, that's what? pretty gay right there. Um, <laughs> the story Logan... is pretty freaking gay. Logan settled for shaking his head instead. Anyway, let's keep moving, Roman said, running a hand through his hair. It was a nervous tick of his, but Logan chose to ignore it. He knew Roman well enough at this point to know he was nervous, but it wouldn't who but wouldn't appreciate it being pointed out, and he respected that. Oh, that is me. Would you like to investigate one of the side rooms, perhaps? Logan suggested. Roman's trademark grin came back quickly. Aha! Finally starting to believe I see. Yes, we can investigate one of the operation rooms. Roman spun in a circle in the hallway, his arm out like a pointer. When his momentum slowed to a stop, he walked towards the door his arm was pointed at. Roman opened the door of the room, revealing a dirty and graffitied space. A few loose pipes were piled in the corner, and there was a closet by the door. Another IV drip hovered beside the closet, and a Logan, and a Logan only stopped himself from cracking a joke about it with great effort. Roman ushered Logan into the room with him, positioning him further away from the door. Roman opened the closet door slowly, keeping his torch trained on the area. Logan tossed his head in annoyance, taking a step back as he did. Ooh. The movement apparently made him kick a loose pipe that had been placed a little bit away from the other, centering it clattering back into the pile. Roman's head jerked at the noise, and Logan automatically turned to point his camera at it. Um, I, I want to say hang something. Hang on, that's me, but my voice hurts. Say it. In my head canon, I want to call this story Four Gay Retards Go Ghost Hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Logan, I fucking told you! Roman's hands were making the beam of light from the torch waver, and his eyes were wide. For a moment, Lomas Lo Who Loman <laughs> almost told Roman he'd kick the pipe. That's the then ship he name. better of it. I'm sure it was just a coincidence, he said, turning his face away from the light so Roman wouldn't see the smirk spreading across his face. Maybe he could have fun with this after all. After poking around the room some more, Roman waving the EMF meter and thermometer like batons, Roman finally gave up and left the room, heading back out into the hallway to continue his Ghostbusters theatrics. Logan hesitated in the room for a moment, looking the camera around to show his face. This is going to get interesting. He gave the camera a quick smirk, fully intending to make the open to make that the opening of the final video. He put the camera down and joined Roman out in the hallway, nearly jogging to catch up with him. I do that. I do things. Everywhere in Phasmophobia. <laughs> Do you want to try looking in a different wing now? Logan suggested, carefully keeping his face neutral. Yes, we should! Roman nodded, and they nod. Who? Who? And they started walking down the hall again, this time headed towards the center of the hospital with purpose. When they reached it, Logan took a moment to look up at the sky through the glass dome that topped the ceiling in the middle of the hospital. Suddenly, Roman's head jerked off to the side to stare down one of the dark hallways. His hand gripped Logan's elbow. Lo, do you hear that? He whispered, voice frantic. Logan frowned and cocked his head, straining his ears to hear past Roman's breathing. 
and hear it he did. Footsteps, starting out faint, but growing louder, rapid, as if something were running at them. He stared down into the darkness, waiting for forever it was. Waiting for forever it was. It's a revenant. <sighs> waiting for forever it was to show itself. When two figures burst out of the shadows into the oh. light of the torches, it took Logan a moment to recognize who they were. Virgil, running as quickly as he could with Patton in his arms, bridal style. Patton waved over Virgil's shoulder to them as they ran past without even slowing, right down another hallway. Would you like to investigate that hallway that our friends just emerged from? Logan asked, patting, patting, petting, petting the hand. Petting the hand. Patton, patting. <laughs> <laughs> Patenting the hand that Roman still had clenched on his arm. Okay. It's patented now. Yeah, it's patent. He's he's he was he's patented by Virgil. This this story is so unrealistic. I mean, this is based on phasmophobia. There's no fucking hospital map. No, not yet, but there is one in the making. Oh, there is I, one I believe the there's making. also an apartment mm -hmm. building in the making, which oh, I'm more excited for too. than the hospital. Uh, I saw the official website. That's what they had. Oh, That's cool. Okay. Well, so uh, we crossed, are we, thanks. Are we stopping for permanently? Uh, yeah, I got never come I got back to yeah, never, again. No, yeah, no, 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 no. We're coming. No. We're we're definitely oh. coming back to this. Oh, we're coming back to the Kermit. All right, let me make a note. Kermit retard. Squiggle, not not star, the story squiggle. specifically. We might Number come back to the story. Three. We we may or may not come back to the story. Alright. Okay. This is gonna take forever, but okay. Yeah, we're, we're gonna take over for a long while. Oh, yeah, we're in this for life.